welcome back to my channel, it's me Kate Amwa. I hope you guys are all well, this is going to be my relaxer update, um, I'm not too sure what number we're on, it'll be in the title, but yeah, I'm just going to update you guys and let you know how my relaxer process went, and I'll also be showing you guys a lip check picture that I took the other day as well, so if you're interested, stay tuned. So I relaxed my hair um, three days ago, I, I went to the salon to get a relaxer done, I was six months post relaxer, so that was really good, I managed to stretch again. This relaxer however, I've decided I'm going to cut my stretch down to four months as opposed to six months just because I think that when my hair is a little straighter now, um, I may not be able to cope with the new growth as much. So yeah, I'm gonna just play it safe and relax at four weeks this and um, four months this time. But yeah, so I relaxed at six months post relaxer. The lady used the a firm fiberglass relaxer. That is the relaxer that I'm gonna be sticking with from now on. I was using it a few relaxers ago. I did I think I used it for two relaxers, um, and then we switched to the Mazzani, and then obviously last time we used the ORS relaxer, but I will be sticking with the a firm relaxer from now on just so that everything's the same same process and my hair is treated the same each time. Uh, the relaxer process went really well, she was, she did the new growth and then she did the previously Texax ends as well before going on to the very roots just because they process really fast. It got really straight as you can tell and um, my roots are all really nice and straight. Um, when my hair's wet you'll be able to tell it's not bone bone straight, I do have a kind of wavy texture to my hair. But um, yeah, it got straight enough for me and it's all more or less one texture which is really good and exactly what I was hoping for. In terms of growth or retaining length, um, I didn't retain as much length I think as my previous stretch. However, I did retain a decent amount considering I thought I was going to have so much damage due to the mixing textures etc. So we didn't even trim my hair this time either and um, I was really pleased with results overall. I feel like my hair, I am starting to find that point where I can retain length, so it's really good. Um, I'm just hoping to, you know, keep retaining length and reach my goals now. I'm really glad I didn't go with the chopping of my hair because I think I would have been so sad. <laughs> but I really love how my hair's getting on. I think it looks really healthy and it's getting on really well. For freshly relaxed hair, I don't think it looks too thin. But I'm excited to see it, you know, a few weeks down the line. Um, I just want to see how thick it really is. Then I can get a true measure of how thick it is. But for freshly relaxed hair, I don't think it looks too bad at all. So after relaxing, she went on to blow dry and flat iron it. And here's what you have now. I have put pro uh, product in my hair, so it is getting a bit weighed down. But I just wanted to make sure to keep up with the six month challenge uh, that's going on. If you don't have the details about that, I'll probably put it on the screen. You'll see like a little icon about that so you can check out the details for that challenge but because of the challenge I have been trying to keep up with the moisturising and sealing and oiling my scalp usually after a relaxer I don't moisturise and seal my hair for a few days but I have been doing so so it is getting a bit weighed down but I don't really mind that too much I think my hair's got a nice shine to it as well and quite a bit of body which I really like about this relaxer my last relaxer process I did say that my hair felt a bit dry, drier than my previous ones and I think I slowly put that down to using the ORS um, no lie relaxer so I am pretty pleased to continue on with this one. In terms of styling my hair now I will be staying away from the wigs, the u part wigs and the sew-ins for a little while. I just want to let my hair breathe a bit and probably wear it down a bit more because I don't do that. Although I don't want to get too excited just because I think yeah it's starting to reach a bit of length now. I don't want to get too excited and break it all off so <laughs> I won't get carried away but I do want to have my hair just on its own with no extensions or anything like that. And my edges have come back guys if you've been following me since you know my pregnancy and post pregnancy. You know that I've been struggling the struggle was real but it's really they're really coming back and thickening up so I'm so so pleased especially this side this side I think there's still that little patch there but overall I'm very very pleased with how my hair is very excited I will probably insert the length check now so yeah that's where I'm at with my hair at the moment I'm so pleased I feel like I'm finally getting somewhere since my haircut last year I'll probably insert 
the haircut that I had last May to my hair now so you can see the difference so I am really pleased and I'm so glad I get to do that before and after so that's how much I've managed to retain in a year and also I've managed to kind of grow out the damage that I had I had a lot of damage on this side and it's pretty much grown out now and um, yeah I'm just looking forward to completing this hair growth challenge and just growing out seeing how much length I can retain for the next relax and stretch as well so yeah that is about it that i can think of for this video don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already if you have any questions at all leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video take care and stay blessed